Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 3. We got a beefy Byzantine Empire, a very beefy Holy Roman Empire, and uh, everything else is looking okay. France has completely descended upon Espana, and uh, looks like the Umayyad Caliphate, which is now the Dunyad Caliphate, is uh, slowly piecing them apart as well. Persian Empire, still going strong, and uh, I don't really see anything else super exciting going on. The Dane law is still persisting, but we are just trying to bide our time here. We have quite the army now, uh, though our army quality is not as good as it could be. I've gained the trait gout ridden. Yikes. Um, I will pay. I, I don't want to die if I can avoid it. Very good. We have our reduced. So... We've been invited to be the marshal. Very cool. I will gladly be the marshal. So we are gout ridden. Our, we're feeling fine. So that's pretty good. Um, and we've been called to war against the Duchy of Champagne. Du jour for the Duchy of Orléans. So our husband is kind of getting his ass kicked. But if I raise my army, we're going to be losing money here. Nice. We converted him to Swabian culture. I love that. So let's just head over here and just wipe these guys out and immediately head home. I think that's that's the goal there. So. Here we go. Kill them all. Uh, let's kill these guys off then. What? My merciful husband has been released from the imprisonment. So my, my husband was, uh, was in prison. So that war is over. So now we have a war with these guys here. And so, let's get on to it. The sooner we kill him off, the better. So my betrothed son can now marry. And he shall. Very good. Destroy them. Very good. Even better. Awesome. So, we have uh, killed off quite a few of their men in that war. In that battle, rather. Um... I can ransom a mayor, so I shall, because that will allow us to continue to, um, you know, keep our guys reinforcing. Let's see here if we can catch these guys out in a bad fight over here. So this is all neutral territory, I think. It's hard to see where friendly territory is, so we have a benefit of uh, terrain here. Very good. Murder Evo scheme. Hmm. Vassal vassals are less likely to join independence. War sounds good to me. Catch these guys out here. The more of them that we can destroy for our husband, the better. So let's get these guys over here. And uh, recover our men. We are recovering. Mm. Perfect. Let's see if we can catch these guys out over here. Perfect. My son Otto has died. Really? Slain in battle. Oh, man. Well, that is... Yeah, it's going to definitely stress me out. Confider, huh? Give me some diplomacy. Okay. Okay. This is okay with me. It is quite stressful losing a child, I imagine. So, let's get Hans, our mayor, here. Um, that sounds good to me. So, it seems like we're going to win this war for our husband. He's been... Oh, we can even make him our... Ah, is that how that works? So, yeah, these are good. So let's see if we can catch these small stacks out. The more of these guys that we can catch out, the better. Alright, very good. And so, let's hang on here and uh, win a couple of these sieges. Giving us a bit more of a percentage here. There we go. Get on over here. Make sure these guys are... Um, 
breaking their sieges off. Our glory is widely known. Very cool. They're attacking me here, and I've been invited to be a steward now. So, we have won the war. Um, we must have topped out at 100, and so I will gain 200 prestige. My husband will love me. Very good. Um, and do I get any of that money? Doesn't look like it. Okay, very good. Well, my husband is now doing pretty good then over here in Normandy. So, yes, it looks like my son will also inherit Normandy, which will pull Normandy into the Holy Roman Empire upon his, upon my husband's death. So, I would rather my husband didn't die, but uh, if he were to die, it wouldn't be a huge deal. So, we have a new emperor over here. And uh, let's see here. He has a moderate-sized levy. And now the counselor. Another counselor. A different counselor. That's so sad my son died, though. I'll spend my prestige. It's fine. So our renown is going up. We are almost a noteworthy family. Very cool. My guardian... My, uh, my guardian? I think... So, what in the world is this? Organized Christian faith. Catholicism fervor is quite low. All these other guys have quite high. Tangriism. Still a couple of these places over here. I think that's quite interesting. Let us get a new counselor. Um, it shall be you. And... Um, Let's keep our prestige rolling. Honored to serve. Yes, very good. So, let's see here. Can I invite some more um, knights? Yes, I can. We definitely need more knights. And we want to invite as many good knights to our lands as we can. Somebody also said that this is something you can do. Um, you can say anybody who is unlanded that is an adult, that is male, that is, doesn't matter, Christian, who has mill points, let's see here, can I invite him to my, I so I can't invite any of these people, so I'm not really sure, a lot of these guys are captains. Petty king. So they need to be unlanded, right? Doesn't it say that they're unlanded? So this guy's a petty king, even though he's unlanded. Oh, right. Um, let's go with unmarried. So I could arrange a marriage with him and one of my courtiers. Foreign ruler, huh? All right, so we're feeling we're figuring this out as we go. So I apologize if I seem like I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So this guy's a peasant revolt, and we want somebody who's unlanded, who isn't leading a revolt or anything like that either. Who's not a captain? Who's not a duke? Oh my goodness gracious! Is there a way to rule that out? I don't see it. A lot of rebels over here, and these guys are all mercenary leaders, so... Mm. Alright. I suppose we just don't have the uh, the people that we were looking for. It's fine. Um, I guess we gained a little more piety, yeah? So we shall be a noteworthy family very soon here. How are we gaining so much right now? Emperor by marriage, huh? Who's an emperor? Who is an emperor by marriage? I don't know. That's quite good for us.
Somebody's married to an empire somewhere. Hmm. Anyways. As long as we still have our unpre or our pressed claim here. Time for treatment. Yes, very good. We're extending our life. We are ailing because we're getting old, but the fact that we've had good treatments is quite helpful. So I could attack King Henry of France. For sons of my claims of my sons. I think we'll just inherit it. All right, we are now a noteworthy family. Very cool. The Habsburg dynasty is known far and wide. I like that. Hmm. So my husband is a drunkard. Where is Ostmark? Where is your capital at? Where is the capital of Osmark? What in the world? So I could siege the de jour. Hmm. I'm more just kind of sitting around. So I can arrange a marriage. A matrilineal marriage with his son? No, I can't do that. That's a bummer. <laughs> I was gonna say, could we force ourselves onto his dynasty? That may be a thing. I don't actually know. So he's actually a Scottish man who is the leader, the Catholic leader of the Dane Law, which doesn't seem correct. So how is our faction? So we are gaining. Let's see here. We can do this. An administrator. So this will give us Oh, Vassal Pinion, but three stewardship. Quite nice. Yes! All of Upper Burgundy shall be mine. Who do you have for alliances? Ooh, Lotharingia, really? Looks like Lotharingia is not doing too good, so... Let's, uh, let's just get on in there and end this war as quickly as possible. Alright, they're coming down. So we're gonna win this siege here, and then we're just gonna head on in and beat up on... Upper Burgundy's armies. That's our goal here. Perfect. Yes, and we took him hostage. Well, that was the easiest war I fought all day, huh? Look at that. And just like that, we grow. So, now what we want to do is get a claim on the Duchy of Savoy, which the county capital is right here. So let's get a claim on that. That's quite good. We basically just doubled our size on the map, which is pretty cool, yeah? Um, wants a seat on the council. He's upset with me. It won't be upset forever. I think if I sway him, we should be good. He's a powerful vassal, so having him be happy with us is useful. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. So, he actually... I feel like this would be quite reckless. Let's see here. So I'll be able to push the ultimatum in 17 months. I think this is smart. I think we want to do this. So he's won his war. His... I have died. Oh, Duchess Ida has died at the age of 69. She died gout-ridden. Conscientious woman. She was renowned for her excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Duke Werner ascends the throne. Unable to tell a lie, many fear his bluntness may not be a fit for the delicate intricacies of politics. All right, we are the 32-year-old Duke Werner of Transgerania. 
Very good. We have inherited all of our um, previously owned titles from our mother. And our wife has given us one daughter and one son, Karlman. Our son is intelligent, and our daughter is also intelligent. Our son is also curious. Very good. So let's see here. If we can for get an alliance up here with anybody useful, we may be able to immediately push our claim here. So, my father is still alive. And that means that when my father dies, I will be able to get the Count or the Duchy of Normandy from him. Now, I am ambitious. Ooh, but we are uh, compassionate and honest. So it start, seems like killing our father would uh, would not be in of our best interest. <laughs> so let's go with a duty focus. And uh, sort this out. Should we put our wife back as our spy, ma spy master? Looks like we can't. We can get our sister-in-law over here. She's a bastard, sadly. That sounds good to me. And uh, if we could get a claim on the Duchy of Savoy, that would be really good for us. Uh, someone else. Let's confront my wife. Seems genuinely upset and denies my accusations. I'm sorry, my wife. She is pregnant, though. I must be the father. I've already confronted her. Let's see here. I think having her assist ruler is probably for the best, yeah. I can ask the Head of Faith for some money, so I shall do that, big time. Negotiate an alliance with my father. Sounds good. Designate an, a guardian for my daughter. And I can lawfully imprison this woman. Doesn't seem worthwhile. I can declare some wars. Hmm. So I have a claim on this one province here. King Henry of France. I have claims on that, but that wouldn't work. Duchy of Ostmark. They are inferior to me, and I have a du jour claim on this this county right here. Poissons? Or however that's pronounced. Hmm. thing is, is that my, our emperor has literally no, he has no allies, and we have an unpressed claim on the HRE, so, let's set myself up here, if I could just get anybody else to join, So let's see here. Two days left for this. Count of... Uh, oh my gosh, these names are crazy. So, Anastasia. Very good. So I, I'm going to blackmail this guy here. And uh, we'll get our hook there. But we're going to have our wife come back over. And I think it's in Luxembourg. We're going to have her head over to Luxembourg to see if we can find some... Uh, some secrets to get a hook on him. So, we have another son. We shall name him after ourselves. Um, nope. I will not. Absolutely not. Have a 400 stack of peasants rule my nation. So there you go. Oh, come on now. Wrong button. There we go. Force the peace on you. And uh, now, if I go to... Where in the world? Here we go, my prisoners. Otto von Rosenberg. Oh, yikes. I will recruit him. And he shall be a knight in my army. Let's see here. Uh, maybe he doesn't? Oh, yep, there he is. Very good. Let's invite some knights as well. We don't have a whole lot of prestige, but uh, having a strong competitive army in the field is going to be definitely to our advantage here. So. 
Hmm. We have low feudal levies, which is good. I'm not really so sure about everything else going on here, though. It seems like we're... We're really just kind of waiting it out, so... My daughter shall be lazy. Unfortunate. So this will increase our levies, and uh, meanwhile, we also need to be making sure that we are increasing the size of our men at arm companies. The scandal. My cousin, Countess Maria, has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, Count uh, Vit Vitklis, Vitklis, is the father of the child. Turns out that it is father than Duke <laughs> Adelbrand. Interesting. So he's an adulterer. And he's severely injured. And he's married to Duchess Eustodolia, who is a dwarf. Very interesting. Centralization. Man, payment for hooks sounds good to me, actually. Though I'm not sure how the compassionate will work. That may not actually work with that. Let's see here. So I think there's a way at looking at who I have hooks on, yeah? Under intrigue, maybe? Yes. Blackmail for a hook. Oh, I've been overwhelmed by stress. Okay, so we don't want to do that, actually. Let's see here. Demand payment? Okay, so that doesn't hurt me. Profligate? Which will give us... Uh, we gain less money, but we gain prestige. And we gain less stress. Or Improvident, where we gain less money, gain less stress, and gain diplomacy. I think I'd take the... the uh, I think I will take the... Um, I will take the uh, the prestige. The monthly prestige is nice. Doesn't have enough gold. Eh, that makes sense. So how much stress does that give me? Doesn't say I gain any stress, but apparently I gain a lot of stress. So that sounds really dumb. Okay. Yeah. Instructions not clear, I have to say, but Espionage Lovers. Secretly taking Gertrude. Very good. So if I blackmail him, it literally doesn't say anywhere. Yeah, it just doesn't say. Alright. Well, that's a little disappointing because now I'm all stressed out for no reason. Uh my vassal. Let's make me his spy master. I have literally four, so that's not very good, but that's fine. Um, uh, I don't want to give him anything. That's unfortunate. Well, we're about to get quite stressed, so let's see if we can do any decisions here. Go on a pilgrimage. Ooh. I don't have a lot of money, though. So we're gaining a bit more of an army here. We have a daughter. She shall be named Augusta after my wife. She is frail, sadly. The rest of my children are all intelligent. You love to see it happen, folks. So let's get a matrilineal marriage here. And somebody who is a genius. Ooh, interesting. Or how about robust? He's old, though. Robust. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with prowess. Somebody who's not super old, though. This would be a good one. It'll be a few years, but... We're compassionate. We care about our wife way too much to be cheating on her. Okay, so the Queen of Bohemia has declared an independence war. Is that what this is? War against the tyranny of Ugo. So this definitely may be our chance here. Very good. Does it happen? Then war it is. All right. It's time for war. So, we definitely have the men for it. So let's raise our armies here. 
and uh, head on over. And if we can do this, this is going to be the, the, the last episode of this campaign. Consumption. Little by little. Oh, yikes. We don't like that. We definitely don't like that. Get my court position. Oh, we don't have the money. This is a problem. Do no more than what is necessary. Thank you. Okay. So we are feeling fine. So that's a good thing. So let's come on over here and siege down his capital here. And uh, we're going to end up needing to take a break here after we do this. So it looks like he's coming for us. Uh, we'll be able to siege this down quite quickly. Not quick enough. All right. This is, a, this is bad. We need to get out of here. We don't have the money to uh, fund an army either. And his... He magically created an army out of the ground. Let's lose some stress. Yep, okay. So this is bad. This is very bad. My rival has died and I've lost stress again. Very good. Let's disband the army for now. We need to... Oh, nice. I've inherited the Duchy of Normandy. Very good. All right, so the the major thing is is we just we need to make sure that um, the emperor is uh, fighting on multiple fronts. So this is good. The more land that he has sieged down over here, the better. Um, though we can ask the head of our faith for gold. So now we have a, a war chest. I think it's going to be best if we dedicate the next episode and hopefully the last episode. to uh, to fighting this war because it's going to be a big one and there's going to be quite a lot to it. Looks like a <laughs> The, the Muslims have invaded southern France over here, but that has nothing to do with us for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please show your support, leave a like, and subscribe, and don't forget to ding the bell. And uh, if you want to support the channel, we got a Patreon, the join, bu the join button below the video if you want a channel membership, uh, which will make your comments show up with a cool little logo next to it, the CS Castle logo, actually, which uh, you can also get on a shirt and a mug. So those links are going to be in the description below if you want to support the channel. It's all super appreciated. That's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Huge special thanks to Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Corbett, RJ Pilot, The Bitter Steel, Keith, Jonathan T.A.P., Salik, Mark Mensch, Devin Terhanika, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Nathan Albright, William Reed, Airborne Animal 7, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.